Uh, sure. Okay. Texting while driving has become a huge issue here in the United States. In fact, according to Secretary, it's become an epidemic. Uh, our technology detects when a phone is moving at greater than 15 miles per hour using E911 data that is on all cell phone carrier networks today. This GPS data or triangulation data can determine the phone is moving greater than 15 miles an hour. When that occurs, we disable your ability to text or email, send or receive, while the phone is moving. So as a driver, we would block your ability to text or send, receive emails, text messages while driving. Now, we do have one, uh, passengers are still allowed to text here, so we have one thing that you need to go through. So if you were to attempt to try and send a text message, this screen would come up. It reminds you that texting while driving is illegal. If you truly are a passenger, it will come up with another warning. Then a timestamp that you bypassed it for future use by law enforcement meeting. And then a simple air, uh, echo character response. As you can see, this, the characters flash on the screen for just a very brief period of time, about 150 milliseconds. And you just need to repeat those back. Yeah, you're, there's no rush. It's not a speed test. Very simple to do as a passenger. Not any problem. Basically, 100% of people can pass it as a passenger. Now, to do the same thing as a driver is much more difficult. And we'll take you over and put you in the to try it out. So as a passenger, it was very easy to pass the attention validator. But as a driver, since the characters only flash in front of you for a very, very brief period of time, it's very, very difficult to do as a driver, as Craig is going to demonstrate here with our uh, simulator. This simulator here is from the University of Iowa. We we're working very closely with them to determine the right parameters to set for the attention validator uh, to ensure that it's very simple and easy to do for a passenger, but nearly impossible for a driver to do while, uh, while, um, while driving a vehicle. This really is intended to be a behavior modification change. The, the product is designed to encourage people to do the right thing and not text while drive. Basically, if you text while drive and you fa fail the validator, it will uh, lock you out for 30 minutes and even if you come to a stop, you have to wait three minutes before you're able to use the device for texting or emailing again. Now, if you do it the right thing and pull over to the side of the road or do the text while you're at, your, when you get to your destination, you're not penalized whatsoever. And as you'll see here, Greg is trying to uh, maintain uh, proper lane position and speed while driving and to watch the validator. So he's failed his first attempt here. And we will give him one more chance to, uh, to try and pass the validator. We've been running this for the last several days here at the show, and basically no one has been able to pass the validation process while driving the vehicle, although 100% of the people have been able to pass it as a passenger while not driving. Uh, again, now that the phone is He's uh, failed the validator. The phone is locked for 30 minutes. Even if he were to pull over and come to a complete stop, he would still have to wait three minutes to use the phone. So he's penalized for his poor behavior. Again, if he would have done the right thing, pulled over the side of the road, he would have been at zero velocity and then attempted to use the text or email, he would have been able to use it immediately. Our hope is over time we will change people's behavior and, and get them to stop texting while driving. It is illegal and it is dangerous. It's killing people. Uh, 6,000 people per year are killed by distracted drivers, half a million are hurt uh, by distracted drivers, and there's over $40 billion a year in proper damage caused by this, uh, by this issue. And it's our hope that this technology will allow people to uh, stop texting while driving.